Hey, good morning, World Cruisers. Today we're coming to you from Visby, Sweden. It's Tuesday, August 6, 2024, on the Ultimate World Cruise. We're on the island of Gotland, the city of Visby, and they get some pretty important visitors at that terminal, I guess. Anyway, we're here to see the uh, medieval festival that they hold uh, for one week every year in Visby. And it is a, uh, first of all, Gotland's an island off of the uh, east coast of Sweden. So it's out in the Baltic and it's kind of a resort island, I would suppose, but this particular city is fairly medieval. So once you get off the ship, you uh, walk along the coast there, which you saw, and you come to this beautiful botanical garden that they have as part of the city. And the, uh, the city itself is surrounded by a wall, so it was a medieval fort. So once you come in off the the beach area there, you walk along this uh, medieval wall until you get back to where they hold the festival at. Inside the wall. We weren't sure exactly where to go, where to redeem our tickets that we booked online. So we followed people with medieval costumes on until we found out where it was. So here, just outside the wall, we found some other folks in medieval costumes who knew we were getting warm. No sand on that beach. So after cashing in our uh, online tickets for some wristbands, we went into the into the festival here. You can see there's quite a number of people with authentic medieval costumes. That gal at the gate right there, she looked pretty good in her blue hat. So the first area we went in apparently was the food area. There's some pretty medieval looking food in there. I'm not sure I would have eaten it. There's medieval kebabs. Not sure what kind of meat it was, but it smelled good. One of the things I noticed was the uh, stuff is very expensive in Sweden. Like a, a salmon plate was 20 bucks. And you'll see them roasting salmon up here in a little bit. The best costume of the day went to the guy with the uh, Black Death costume. I'll show you that in a minute. I could not figure out what they were cooking in those pots. Apparently, they must have had pizza back in medieval times. So we couldn't read a word of the, of the language except for this one word, pizza. You're going to get to hear some singing, some uh, medieval tunes here in a minute. Like there's a Viking there. I didn't see too many other Viking helmets, but <laughs> he offered to sell his Viking hat to me for 50 bucks. <laughs>
And the next thing we're going to look at is some roasted hogs. Looks like they had some stuffed wild boars there. They had a couple of them roasting on the fire. Neither one of them looked very appetizing to me. Uh, the one on the left looked like it was burned. We'll go back to those in a minute. <laughs> Minst jag som mig får dem förstrat hava Ni är värda jag minns av vad som går i dem Ni är mot givande trädet They cook salmon. This is actually, this is what looked the best to me out of all the food that we saw being cooked there. Smells like sauerkraut to me. <laughs> what are you cooking there, yeah, Steve? Oh, bread? Salmon. Oh, salmon. Oh. Oh, I see on here, yeah, okay. They cook the salmon on planks, like we do sometimes at home. Salmon plate. I'm going to get one more, uh, one more song from the Forum Vulgaris. If I was to understand that, literally, it would would say vulgar form, but I don't think I was saying anything vulgar. I den här låt som handlar om Teoderik och Smeringarnas borg. Och det går så här. Singing or whatever their, their concert. How he rolls his R's. <laughs> check out that roasted meat because it got my interest. I was wondering exactly what it was. So I went over and asked the guy. There wasn't a whole lot of English proficiency in this town, by the way. We had a difficult time communicating. But the one on the, the one closest to you there looked like it was burned to me. I, I think they were actually going to serve it as part of somebody's lunch later on maybe it was just smoked i don't know and the other one looked like it hadn't been on there very long he pointed to those boars out there and he said yeah those so it must be pork and we're over in the archery the guy was teaching that little guy how to shoot an arrow and oh. Bullseye. He was doing pretty good on his own. He didn't need much help. You could buy a bow and arrow. You could buy all kinds of uh, medieval weapons. 
and you could even buy a bagpipe, homemade bagpipes for sale over here. This guy was warming his up. Now, here's the best costume I saw all day long. That guy is dressed up like Black Death. The medieval times, of course, suffered the bubonic plague. And that mask that guy is wearing, the, the doctors and the priests used to stuff with herbs because they weren't sure how the, the Black Death was contracted. So it also helped get rid of the stench of death when they had to visit the homes of people that were sick. That guy had some vials on his his shoulders belt there. I'm not sure what was in those. And this guy had a number of bagpipes for sale. Men man jag bygger dem ju liksom en förenklad modell med bara en basbordning om man vill också. Så att man kan välja många modeller man vill ha och det är så här och vad det kan so there's remnants of the wall that surrounded the city of Visby, uh, and it was quite a long wall. And that must have been the uh, original gate. So this place was selling candied apples. So we spent the rest of our Swedish krona money uh, on some candied apples here. They were pretty good. Anyway, that's the medieval festival. Uh, there's a lot of other stuff we looked at that uh, I didn't didn't edit, didn't make the cut when editing. But anyway, so here's walking through the the town of Bisbee. So you see, get an idea what it looks like. It's fairly medieval. And it's quite a tourist attraction. There were several ships in the harbor today. There's some pretty nice hotels in this town that were still medieval period designs. Lots of nice restaurants on the street. Some of those houses I'm sure date back to the 1200s. Anyway, that's Fisby on the island of Gotland, and tomorrow we're going to be in uh, Klaipa to Lithuania, so stay tuned for uh, some more adventures from Klaipa to that old wooden house right there is probably 1200s, made out of log, beautiful. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll see you tomorrow.